It's a city where anything can happen. So what could go wrong or right as I hit up LA Unscripted? You know, in LA, it's dress up day every day, even if it has been sweatpants for a hot second recently. Hi everyone, I'm Dana Devon. And when do we think Spider-Man, SpongeBob, and all the Hollywood Boulevard costume characters will be coming back? Because they were always causing unscripted madness. <laughs> You guys, never a good idea to mess with those people in costumes. And you know what? Coming up, wait until you see mine. I think it's seven feet tall. Our costume closet here at LA Inscripted is totally getting there. Let's take a look back at the week. What can go wrong? What could? <laughs> Better not be a law. Okay. Wow. Nope, nope, you gotta eat it. Oh nope, my nope, God. You gotta eat it, gotta eat. How spicy is it? Keep going up, 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 up. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Right here in the hat. Let's take that whole thing. <laughs> na, 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 na. That's more. Oh, like I. A... Keep going, keep going, keep going. Perfect, keep going. Dana. Would you those? Okay. Healthy. Get the vibe. Healthy vibe. We in the house, we in the house like. So raise it up. thing okay. or whatever you feel. That's kind of me right here. <laughs> Perfect. Because I don't mess up. <laughs> when I said May. Perfect. Okay, so this is not a costume. This is actually a game called Headbands. And Liberty Chan, my girl, is here to play with me. Okay, so I have something on my head. Mm -hmm. She can see it, but I can't. Yes. But now you're going to tell me, describe what I'm I am. I'm gonna describe it. Okay, so if I was a dog and I saw one of these on the street, I would run after it. A ball. No. Okay. Uh, it's an animal. A car. It's oh, an, an animal. animal. An, an animal. animal. Okay, okay. Squirrel. Yes. Oh, ah! <laughs> that was good. Okay, okay. okay. Um, Luis cooked this for you and Dr. Brent. Steak. Uh, no, uh, it octopus, has- Octopus, yeah. octopus, yeah. octopus, oh my God. And it was really good, Louise. Okay. okay. Um, when I was a kid, I would go to the playground and I would, I Ice would skate. jump on one of Roller these skate. things. Roller skate. Nope, it, it was kind of Seesaw. something that like, yes, sort of like that, but- um, Swing. Yes. Swing, yes. Yes, yes. yes. we did it. We oh did my it. God, we did it. Gold star. This is actually really fun. I love it. Aced it. All right, you know, this would be so fun for you guys to do it with a family, right? And you can kind of do this with your kids. Speaking of kids, I really got to relate to them more because I got an adorable dare to go back to school. Shocking, I'm not that good at it. The schooling thing is an adjustment to kids. Honestly, I think we're all like, what is this? I'm trying, I'm failing miserably. <laughs> You're muted. Everybody's muted. Everybody's muted. Oh, I'm muted. So you press that to unmute. Okay, okay. Oh, hi. Hi, is that my teacher, Miss Anja? Little Dana. Here. I'm here. Hi, I'm here and I'm in school. Okay, okay. Hi. You don't need your face that close. Oh, okay, let's go. Five times one is zero. Um, no, uh, no. Teacher, I need your opinion. Do I look 
smarter like this or like this? Do you need your glasses? Not really, I just thought they looked kind of cool. So I don't think parents should harp so much on the kind of rigidity of transferring physical classroom work into the internet and when you're at home because it just doesn't work that way. You can do it anytime you want to when it's online. One of my best tips that I learned as a teacher online, scheduling is the big thing. You know, finding a comfortable place to learn, comfortable time of day. It's really important for me to tell the kids, let's set up a structure, let's set goals for ourselves, but you can break those, you can break the deadlines and you can change them. But if we don't have a plan right away, it easily piles up into all happening at the end. A lot of it is patience and understanding with each other. Which pen do you want? I like this pen. Hey, no talking. Can I go to the bathroom? Is it like really, really bad? Cause we're doing class, you know. Are we sure there's not a nap time in this school? Ah, oh, Zoom froze. This is what I heard my kids do. They go, oh, technical difficulties. I might've been a little bit distracted because we were drawing pictures and writing our names and I got a little bit distracted and then were there technical difficulties and we had to stop school and I got in trouble with the teacher because I wasn't listening and I asked for bathroom breaks and um, what, I didn't have my audio on. What else did I do wrong? Uh, everything. Yeah. I wasn't so good at Zoom school, huh? Y'all are much better at it than I am. Zoom school is hard, I'm not gonna lie, it's hard. You guys did a really good job. I think parents should be a little easier on you. So I guess parents, frequent bathroom breaks, lots of snacks, and I highly suggest implementing a nap time, a universal nap time. Okay, I know you're not gonna believe this, but growing up, I wasn't the best student. I know, I know, I know you're shocked. But seriously, doing that story made me appreciate all of you parents, teachers, and kids, so kudos to you. All right, coming up, my favorite holiday Halloween is not canceled, no. Now how your little ones can get an A in Best Dressed. Plus, local businesses going the extra step to ensure healthy shopping. And Jessica Holmes in the California kitchen. LA Unscripted, safe for the whole family to watch, except for the real impressionable ones. Except for them. Here are some of my backyard beauty tips and hacks with me, Brooke. So Maya, she has a lot of curly hair and it's amazing, but sometimes you get kind of bored with curly hair, you don't know what to do with it. So a fun little look is where I take the bangs and just kind of leave those out. Don't have to do anything fancy, just kind of get some hair and we're gonna do a messy bun on top. kind of switch up her look. So then we'll add some bobby pins at the end and it will give it just like a fun, fresh, new look. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm so excited. You know I love Halloween. And Halloween will be here soon, but as we all know in LA County, there won't be trick-or-treating or spooky carnivals. But if you still want to be creative while staying safe, check out Spooktacular Creations' fun and new costumes that are perfect for social distancing. I mean, come on. Or even dancing around in your home. I mean, we love it so much. We have here in studio Jennifer Oy and some of her little helpers. Hi, Jennifer. Hi. These are amazing. Aren't I never even fun? thought about how perfect these are for social distancing. Exactly. So October 31st is special this year. Right. Not only does it fall on a Saturday, but we get to experience a rare blue moon that will light oh. the night. While trick-or-treating and, and the carnivals and the haunted houses are closed, that doesn't mean we can't have fun and be creative at home. This is a onesie. It's super soft. They have pockets for your candy. Right. Can we see your tail? Let's <laughs> sure. see. Your... <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, now are inflatables just the thing this year? Inflatables have been a big sellers this year. Right. This is Ellie. Oh, hi Ellie. Spreading her magic in the unicorn right? inflatable costume. Oh my gosh. So this has been actually sold, selling out very quickly, uh -huh. but it's okay. So you can get these costumes on Spectacular 
Creations.com, right. or Amazon, Target, Walmart, any select store. This is Layla. She's on a ride on dragon. Kind of reminiscent of Game of Thrones. Yes, right? Game of Thrones or How to Train a Dragon. Yes. So they have ride ons for dinosaurs, unicorns, oh my gosh. dragons. I had no idea. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding right this now? Is Look so at this. Cute. I'm dying. Oh, how cute. Check out Irie. This is another ride on inflatable costume, and she is on <laughs> an ostrich. <laughs> how fun is that? It and is this so cute. Blast off into space. This is good because if you're looking for costumes for the whole family, uh -huh. Spectacular Creations has you covered. So they have costumes for everybody from the baby to an adult. Would you be any cuter? <gasps> yes. Who wow. doesn't want to be a sea goddess? This is Aria, oh, ready to make a splash in the Little Mermaid costume. This is great. It comes with the Little Mermaid dress, a wand, uh -huh. a beautiful wig, a crown. You have to take a look at this. How cute I is this? I cannot get over the whole <gasps> Run, I love outfit. It so much. It's so cute. So this is Crystal with her beautiful baby Bumblebee, Charlotte. Oh. What's great about this costume for the babies is it's just a non-toxic romper okay. that you can easily put them into. It will get warm, so right. you know if you want to put it on them last minute, you know right. before you go out. But it's very soft. It's super soft and it's easy to wear. And look how cute this and is. And the shoes and too are so cute. This has been one of my favorite this is segments. Fun. I love, I love this. it. <laughs> I love it so much. This, I've never taken this off. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, I love Halloween costumes so much, you guys. Um, all the spooktacular creations costumes are available online at spooktacularcreations.com as well as on amazon and select stores nationwide i love this costume i'm never taking it off so see halloween can be safe and fun like shopping for your little ones now the most amazing la boutique is going above and beyond by keeping everything clean and sanitized can you handle it Obviously, the thing I miss the most is engaging with our customers. Our customers are families. 90% of our income comes from in-store traffic because that's just the kind of business that we are. Anxious to open after the outbreak. Although customers are not entering our store, it's curbside pickup only. I do have an employee that just started coming back to work. We haven't had her in a month and a half. I'm really happy to provide a safe space for her. Like most small business owners, Celine Thatcher couldn't wait to welcome back customers that feel like family. It's the kind of environment too where it's like, you know, you're dealing with families and you're seeing babies all the time and you're watching children grow. So it's definitely the kind of environment where you can't have anything but love in here, you know? But since La La Ling Baby Boutique only outfits tiny tykes, the Los Feliz fashion aficionado insists she feels even more of a responsibility to safely reopen. Even before we were mandated to you know, shut down with the stay at home order, as a business owner, there was definitely a, a really strong sense of responsibility that every single person that walked into my business, it was my responsibility to keep them safe. To prepare for the big day back in May, It's a sanitizer that lasts for 30 days in a high traffic area and protects the entire room. It's eco-friendly, FDA registered, EPA approved. The partner taking extra cleaning precautions. Not only is this the most effective product when it comes down to how it lasts, it looks like water, it dries in seconds, it can be applied on just about anything safely. You can spray it, forget it, create the layer of protection across the whole store that you don't need to see and it dries in just a few seconds, so there's no adjustment needed on the business owner's part either. No real coordination to close down. Prior to the pandemic, the local storekeeper never expected to need a decontamination service. I was obviously very concerned about the way it interacts with fabric, very concerned with it being safe for children, and it is, it's really quick. But vows today, community health must come first. Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to seeing all the kids. I miss them so much. I wish I could fit into those rocket La La Ling outfits, but I mean, come on, I have my own. All right, you can also shop online for the adorable looks at LaLaLing.com. And don't go anywhere, because coming up, more fun and games with Liberty Chan. And Jessica Holmes is heating up amazingness. The weekend is wild, and we're just getting started. And I'm going to go ahead and butt the camera. Okay, 
It's Friday, it's Friday, and we're here to provide you with some suggestions for family fun. Now, the funniest thing just happened. We decided that we're gonna play charades, mm -hmm. and we're all here, and Liberty goes, I've never played charades I've before, and the entire played. set just started. How could you not play? I don't know. I was ice skating my whole life. I don't know. Liberty, what color is the sky in your world? <laughs> Blue. Okay, let me, oh, okay. I get to pick one, and then you're gonna guess, okay? okay? All right, so I, I have one. Okay, <laughs> close it. Okay. So it's a um, this a movie. Okay. Movie. So your heart. Mm -mm. It's a romance. No. Your chest. <laughs> your breasts. <laughs> you. Yes. Data. Yes. Okay. I. D. I. I. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> I. I lid. No. I lash. No. I. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, you died. You're dead. Mm -hmm. You. You. I see death. I see dead people. Yes! Yes! Oh my God. Yes! Okay, that's, that's really one. hard. Okay. It's really hard. Okay. 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 The first time That was hard. Jeez. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Movie. Three words. No, um, no, no, no. Oh. Three. Mm -hmm. Uh. Tin. <laughs> Monkey. No! No! <laughs> Three men mm. and a baby. Yes! 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay. One okay. More. Last one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Last one. Okay. Okay. Movie. Okay. Oh my. Uh, you're you're in a canoe. Mm -hmm. You are in some water and you're going down a river bank and you're you're a Titanic. Yes! <laughs> How did you get that? Oh, no. That was unbelievable. <laughs> Oh my God, I didn't think you'd get you. that. I didn't either. I didn't even know what I was doing. I, I thought it was really good. Oh, that was fun, I'm sweating. Oh, I just remembered, the name of the movie is The Sixth Sense. You're right. That's the I See Dead You people. are right. All right, you guys, enough. Now let's see what Jessica Holmes is up to in the kitchen. <laughs> get it? Charades. As you guys know, baking, not really my thing. So I found a way to do apple pies with very little prep, very few ingredients, and it's pretty much foolproof. And these are really cute, and it's apple season. When you go to the grocery store, I would go for the apples that have the red skin on them because it'll end up looking prettier. These are my favorite are honey crisp. I love honey crisp apples because they're sweet and tart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shave the apples and roll them in puff pastry where they create a little rosette, stick them in a muffin tin, bake them for 30, 40 minutes, and you've got little mini apple pies. But they're pretty. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, if, I don't know if, if you have one of these at home, you could also just thinly slice your apples, but this basically has a blade, you run the apple over it, and then it shaves it into nice slices. Okay, let's see if this works. I'm always nervous when I do things over a blade like that. Here we go, we have our apple slices. So easy, look at that, paper thin. What I'm gonna do now, I heat it up a little bit of water on the back burner here, and you just wanna soften the apples. A little bit of lemon, because lemon will keep the apples from browning. And I might just add a teeny bit of sugar. And honestly, if your apples are sweet, you could even skip this step. Forget making pastry dough, or puff pastry for that matter, which no one recommends actually making puff pastry because it's way too difficult. So the freezer section at the grocery store will help us with that. This is puff pastry sheets. And I just wanna roll it out a little. Take your muffin tin, and I'm gonna take a stick of butter and just so I drain my apples. You wanna get the excess water off. So let me show you what we do. We layer our apples. You wanna see the red sticking up. So cute. Okay, and then you fold up the pastry dough like that. And now, if all goes well, this is where it should start to look like a rose. You just twist, 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 twist. Twist. It's a rose. Okay, there we go, we did it. So here comes our muffin tin. 
and we just place that in there and we keep going. Okay, roses are done. I'm gonna put them in the oven, 350 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes. Our little rose apple pies are out of the oven and they're perfect. I let them cool just a little bit and I'm gonna, I took apricot jam jelly, I warmed it up on the stove and I'm gonna take a pastry brush and just do this. I already started taste testing. Mm. What a yummy little afternoon treat. You know, I love Jessica Holmes. She is so hot in that California kitchen. All right, Liv, see, we are mostly a family show. Most days. Mostly, mostly. Yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching LA Unscripted. Now, as for us, since Liberty clearly missed out on years and years <laughs> of playing charades, we're gonna keep playing. All right, okay. let me take a look. Okay, got it. Okay, this one's a song. Uh-huh. Your marching band, march soldier, your walking, mm -hmm. walking, mm -hmm. uh, like an Egyptian. Yes, yes, you did it. Good yes. job. Good job. Oh, we can we probably do this instead. Oh. Good job. Okay. Good job. Woo! We'll see you next time. Love you. Best Mwah. 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 Good job. Mwah.